One of the new functions in Excel 2013 is formula text. With this, you can refer to any cell and then see the formula that's in that cell, just as if you'd clicked on the cell and looked up in the formula bar. So we'll see a few examples of how you can use that formula. First one, we have a formula in cell B2. You can see the formula text because I've clicked on the cell. To use the formula text function, I'll start with an equal sign, formula text, and then I'll click on the cell that I want to refer to, close the bracket and press enter. So here's the text that was pulled by the formula text function. We can see that it's exactly the same as what we saw in the formula bar. We can also use the formula text function to refer to cells on other sheets. In this cell, I'll type equal formula text and then click on another worksheet tab. And this cell has a formula in it, so I'm going to click on that and press enter. There we can see the formula was in that cell. In this cell, I have a reference to another workbook. You can see up here that it's in the C drive, the data folder, but that workbook is closed. So you can refer to another workbook, but only if it's open. Otherwise, you'll see an NA error. You can also refer to a range of cells. So here I've got three cells with formulas in them. You can see each one is different. If I create a formula text function here and refer to these three cells, press enter, the result will be whatever is in the top left cell of the range that you referred to. For another example, in cell B2 we have a formula and in cell B4 I'm calculating the length of what's in cell B2 and the length here, the 16, is the length of the result. If you want to calculate the length of the formula you can use the LEN for length function, but use the formula text function with that. So in here I'll type equals len formula text and click on cell B2. I'll close with two brackets. When I press enter now, we can see that it's 36. So it's getting the length of the formula text rather than the length of the formula result. For another example, we'll see how we can use formula text with the indirect function. So in this cell, I've got a cell address, B2. And in this cell, I'm going to type equals formula text and then indirect, which will create a reference based on an address. So that's going to create a reference to whatever is in cell B4. So when I close the bracket, press enter, we're getting the cell reference B2 created by the indirect function. So the formula text is showing what's in cell B2, which is the formula that calculates the year from today. If I type a different cell reference in here, if I type B3, there's no formula in cell B3, so we get an NA result. So this lets you create a quick tool to look at the formula in any cell just by typing the cell address here. One more example of how we can use the formula text function is on this sheet we've got a formula in cell B2 and a value just typed in cell B3. So with the formula text function here, then it shows the formula. But if I drag it down, it then refers to B3 where there's a value, so it gives me an NA result. And I don't want to see NA, I'd rather see a message. So in this cell, we'll create a formula that checks to see if there's a formula here. If there is, show that formula. Otherwise, show a little message. So we'll start with equals if, and the test will be, is there a formula in B5? For that, I'll use the is formula function and check cell B5. So if it passes that test, then it will use the formula text function to show what's in B5. Otherwise, it will show a message that says not a formula. When I press enter, we can see that 45 is not a formula, but if I type equals three times four, it shows that result because there's now a formula in cell B5. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file from this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.